All right, welcome back, YouTube. Um, this rifle right here uh, pertains to a slightly older video that I had uh, posted, and that was uh, of the dura coating. I don't know if uh, any of you watched that video or not, but you know, me and Chad were uh, dura coating this uh, Spanish Mauser, and as uh, as some of you may recall, I bought two of these rifles, and uh, the other rifle was sold off on auction. That's the one that we did in the cold bluing video, okay? And that rifle, you know, I, I don't own that rifle anymore. Um, but I did give Chad this rifle because he didn't own a Mauser. I wanted him to have a Mauser. And this is definitely a, a good Mauser action rifle. Anyway, this is the result of the uh, stock work and the dura coating that we did on this rifle. This is Duracoat Gun Blue. And uh, it does have a slightly blue looking color. However, um, you know, from a distance, let's say you were looking at it on a gun rack from maybe five or six foot away. You know, even in this uh, video right now, uh, with the limited lighting I have available, it appears very black. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, detailed uh, photos of the rifle outside, hopefully in some decent lighting. But I just want to showcase a bit because there were some people on the Ammo Smith forum that were asking me about, you know, the finished product. And there it is. Uh, Chad went with a, a little bit more of a matte color on the stock or a matte finish as opposed to the more glossy look of the first one. Uh, what I'll likely do is post the, a video response on this one with the results of the previous Mauser rifle. Uh, personally, I think this uh, more matte look is a little more uh, correct in terms of military finish that would have uh, originally been on the rifle. And not to mention it has a certain uh, kind of subtle beauty that you probably wouldn't get with a glossy finish. There's a stock repair that Chad did. Uh, this, this particular stock had a really big gouge on the bottom of it. And uh, we had an old uh, uh, check or an old CZ uh, Mauser stock laying around. He cut a section out of it and spliced it in and the uh, color matched up very decent although it is slightly darker uh, if you were to pick this rifle up I'm sure it would take a uh, trained eye to spot that all right off the bat but a very decent repair so we're gonna get some range clips of this rifle soon I just got a set of dies for Chad and we're gonna be loading up some uh, 308 uh, reduced cast ammunition to you know be easy on the action and plus, I think uh, with a good, properly sized cast bullet load that this rifle is going to shoot very nicely. Uh, just judging on our uh, preliminary uh, initial uh, impressions of the rifle in terms of accuracy, uh, it's shooting very good. We were shooting some 147 grain uh, just Blazer factory uh, ball ammo out of it the other day. And at 200 yards, you know, we were dinging the steel plate uh, pretty decent. So this is uh, just a, you know, show y'all what it looks like and uh, again here's the pictures y'all have a good one